Hey guys, DC Network here, coming at you with another video. If you guys haven't heard already, Disney announced that Phineas and Ferb will be returning for an additional two seasons that will consist of 40 episodes, so 20 episodes in each season. This announcement comes almost eight years after the finale aired on Disney Channel back in 2015. Phineas and Ferb was a wildly successful show for Disney all throughout the mid to the late 2000s and even the early 2010s. It was so popular that it never really left the channel you know disney has always been pretty good at airing reruns of phineas and ferb and it even got a movie on disney plus back in 2020 in the form of candace saves the universe personally for me i really enjoyed phineas and ferb when it was on the air i fell off the series probably at around season three or the end of season two so i haven't seen every episode but i am happy to hear that it is coming back for an additional two seasons my only hope or concern would be that you know anytime a series disappears for that long has an eight year hiatus period hopefully it has the same quality that the show had when it ended you know hopefully the quality doesn't go down and hopefully it lives up to the hype and expectations but the reason why i'm making this video is i feel like cartoon network has something to learn from this situation i've talked many times before on this channel about how cartoon network needs to air more classic series on their channel air reruns of their older shows and i feel like you look at Disney with this situation with Phineas and Ferb. It's a series that was wildly successful for them, like I said before. They air reruns of it. It's so popular that the executives thought, hey, you know, we're airing reruns of the show. People are watching it. It's a wildly successful property of ours. Why don't we make a movie on Disney Plus? They do that in 2020, right? In the form of Candace Saves the Universe, like I said before. It does so well that they decide, okay, you know what? Three years later, why don't we bring the show back? It seems like people enjoyed the movie. The reruns are doing well. People are watching them on Disney Channel and Disney XD. Why don't we bring it back for more episodes and see how it does? It gets a two season order, 40 more episodes, and the show is coming back. This is something that Cartoon Network seems reluctant to do for some reason. I've said before with shows like Galactic Kids Next Door or Codename Kids Next Door or even The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, those are properties in which we know the creators want to make more content for those series. In the case of Codename Kids Next Door, we know that Mr. Warburton wants to make Galactic Kids Next Door a thing, but for some reason, Cartoon Network seems reluctant to do so. The same thing goes for The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. That's a series which Maxwell Adams pitched a movie a few years back to Cartoon Network and they rejected the movie idea because quote unquote kids don't know what the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy is today. Again, you look at Disney, they're airing reruns of their shows, they see that the reruns are doing well, so they make a movie for their series, now it's getting more episodes. Cartoon Network, you could be doing the same thing right now, you're missing so many opportunities by not airing reruns of your older series. Like hypothetically speaking, let's just say that the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy is airing reruns on Cartoon Network. Let's say they're doing well you know people are tuning into the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy it was a popular show back in the 2000s it can be a popular series now airing reruns it's so popular that Cartoon Network decides to give Maxwell Adams his movie idea give it a green light it's gonna go to HBO Max goes to HBO Max hypothetically speaking does well it could then lead to more episodes or even a spin-off series down the line this is my issue with Cartoon Network is they're so afraid for some reason to air reruns of their older series consistently on the channel that by doing doing that by not airing the reruns you're potentially losing out on a lot of properties continuing and making more content that's all it's going to do is bring you in money like look if you air reruns of codename kazex door and for whatever reason it doesn't do well then you end it there you don't make galactic kazex door but if you air reruns of codename kazex door more likely than not it's going to do well so then you can give the green light to galactic kazex door get a new series on the channel that's going to get older fans involved as well as new fans of the series in to this new show everyone's going to be happy you're going to be making money the fans are going to be enjoying content there's going to be nostalgia for these older series and everyone like i said will be happy it's amazing to me if you take a step back and look at what's happening over at disney with phineas and ferb and then look at what's happening with cartoon network and all of their older properties it's like a ghost town with cartoon network with their older properties and disney is actually recognizing that hey we have a gold mine here potentially with phineas and ferb let's do something with it it. let's not have it sit here and collect dust well on the other hand cartoon network is like yeah you know that thing ben 10 yeah i mean why continue the original continuity because that was in the past people want to see new things going forward 
We want to see new ideas instead of continuing the old show that it was before. No one wants to see that. It was popular in the 2000s. It's not going to be popular now. That just seems to be Cartoon Network's mentality right now. And I'm not saying that every single old series has to be revived. Because definitely not series and for a reason. Not everything needs to come back. But in the case of where a creator is coming to you. In the case of Mr. Warburton and Maxwell Adams. They're telling you hey I've got this great idea for a new show or a movie or whatever the case may be and fans hear about it you see the outcry for it online amongst fans saying hey we want to see this but then for some reason years continue to pass and you still don't do it like what when did Galacticus next door premiere that YouTube video when did that come out 2017 what has it been six years now and Cartoon Network still hasn't given a green light to that series when they know fans want to see it they know their creator wants to make it but for some reason they just don't want to air it they don't want to put money in to make this series it's just a mind-boggling situation with Cartoon Network there's so many properties that people want to see more episodes of or want to see a special movie event or a reunion episode or whatever the case may be but for whatever reason Cartoon Network just doesn't want to I'm not saying they don't do this for any series of course they did the Samurai Jack season 5 finale of course they're bringing back the Powerpuff Girls now in whatever that revival is or that reboot series or whatever it ends up being we know Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends is coming back in the form of a preschool series but when you look at the shows where it makes the most sense for them to do it they don't do it they don't recognize those series like for example just again just a real quick run through Ben 10 people want to see a fifth iteration in the original continuity a sequel to Omniverse for some reason they're not doing it maybe they are behind the scenes but from the outside looking in they're not doing it Teen Titans season 6 I know it's not a Cartoon Network original but that's something that people have wanted for years for whatever reason Warner Brothers Animation Cartoon Network they're not doing it same thing goes for like I mentioned before Galactica Zex or Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy movie Symbionic Titan something that people wanted to see come back for a long time there's just time and time again where there's a Cartoon Network series that was on in the past that people want to see return whether it be in the form of a movie a sequel series some extra episodes in a revival season whatever the case may be and every single time there's a reluctance to do so from Cartoon Network why I don't know it's weird it's a very strange situation of course there's the total drama island revival as well but the weird thing as well which i've noticed with cartoon network is for whatever reason whenever people are asking for a reboot revival or sequel series or movie or whatever the case may be they don't do it for some reason when people don't ask for it they do it like was anybody asking for another powerpuff girls reboot or revival no was anybody asking for total drama to come back no it's great that they're doing these things but when people are actually asking for stuff like the symbiotic titan revival or grim adventures of billy mandy movie galacticus next door ben 10 fifth series in the original continuity for whatever reason when there's actually a fan outcry for something cartoon network then ignores it which in my opinion makes no sense whatsoever because if you know fans want it you know people want it that means people are going to watch it if people are going to watch it that means basically free money for you guys you just have to make the thing but for some reason like i said before there's a reluctancy to do so at cartoon network like i said hopefully they learn from this whole phineas and ferb situation hopefully they see what disney is doing and saying hey we have properties that were even more popular than phineas and ferb why don't we do that why don't we make a movie or a sequel series or some additional seasons of a show hopefully they learn from this only time will tell but fingers crossed that we see some cartoon network classics air reruns on the channel and maybe that could lead to potential revival spin-off series or whatever the case may be anyways let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about all this do you guys hope that cartoon network looks at the phineas and ferb situation and says hey if disney can do that we can do that too if you guys enjoy this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more content from dc network thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time